such issues as reliability, as uh, new technologies, protection, cybersecurity, physical security of energy objects become more and more important. Ukraine will be able to take Russia's place, in some extent, in ensuring the renewable gases to European Union. This heating season, we won't need gas import. Hello and welcome to Ukraine in Flames, a special project by Ukraine Media Center, an NGO Euro-Atlantic Force. And I'm your host, Miroslava Yarenki. The energy strategy of Ukraine until 2050 involves the restoration of the energy sector using the most modern technologies, strengthening the stability of the system and strengthening the energy security of Ukraine and the European continent as a whole. The key task of the strategy is to transform Ukraine into the energy hub of Europe, which will help the continent finally get rid of dependence on Russian fossil fuels, thanks to the clean energy produced in Ukraine. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the revitalization of Ukraine's energy infrastructure, the various physical and cyber risks it faces, and explore potential collaboration between the EU and Ukraine within the field of renewable energy. If you want to learn more about the subject, please continue watching this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our videos in the future. Ukraine's energy system, which suffered from Russian deliberate attacks, still needs to be restored. In order to completely restore it, several hundred million dollars are needed. And not to only restore the facilities in the format in which they were, but also to rebuild them in a more modern way. More on challenges and risks confronting Ukraine's energy sector and what Ukraine can do to protect its energetic security, please welcome President of MHP Eco Energy, Oleksandr Dombrovsky. I participated in preparation of many forms of ours. However, such a concentration of challenges and problems that are there for our country and for the world, I guess we've never seen this amount of problems. And when we were thinking about the forum, we were thinking about the key messages that we should pay attention to and that we should analyze. And we made a decision in the organizational committee that it should be an analysis of the new energy architecture of the world. Because without understanding the architecture, we won't be able to find neither the place of Ukraine nor adopt the decision necessary for the economy of Ukraine and for Ukraine as a state. However, today I can mention that it is important for us in the context of forum not just to have understanding of energy architecture. It's very important for us to understand also the global architecture of the world, which is changing dynamically today. And we are witnesses of very serious conflicts that are taking part in different parts of the world. And for sure, this is impacting the economy and this is impacting Ukraine. Here, I would like to mention that, for example, for me, understanding of such formula as energy and peace is very important. We are used to it. We were looking for solutions all the time, like energy policy, energy independence, energy safety in the formula of peace. And today we have to look for a totally different formula and we have to recognize energy and war. And by the way, we can see that the formula of war is changing rapidly, also technologically, and such issues as reliability, as uh, new technologies, protection, cybersecurity, physical security of energy objects become more and more important. At the same time, we do understand that the rapid changes are not only in energy technologies, because tomorrow and the day after tomorrow we will talk about that a lot, but unfortunately, the technological solutions are also changing that are related to war. The number of drones, the size, how far they can hit or how strong the heads are, we have to take all of that into account when we are considering how to defend the energy sector of Ukraine and make it serious, powerful and protected.
And in this context, I would like to switch to a very important issue because the company MHP Elka Energy is the main, the key partner of the forum. And I can say our argument why is that important for us. First of all, it's important to show and represent the energy achievements, including green transitioning, including green energies that are as of today in the company. Because without this, we cannot find energy security. Even more than that, I dare say that in spite of huge criticism that we used to have a few years ago when green energy was defined as, I'm sorry for probably like the rough uh, word, like everything was put on green energy, like green energy is guilty of everything. But now we understand that green energy is a very serious tool and weapon for energy protection of economy of Ukraine. Ukrainian business is interested in biomethane production. There is already the first biomethane plant and new ones are planned to be opened by the end of the year. The export of biomethane, in particular to the European market, is an important area of industry development. In the protection of biomethane, Ukraine can compete with any country and offer the cheapest raw materials. Ukraine has the largest area of agricultural land in Europe and accordingly one of the best potentials in the world for the production of biomethane. Head of the board of the Bioenergy Association of Ukraine, Georgi Helatucha, will elaborate more on that. In Europe, there is a high demand for biomethane. Now they are producing like 3.5 billion of cu cubic meters of um, biomethane and they want to consume 35 billion. So just imagine 10 times growth in less than 10 years. What other sector in the world can grow in such tempo? And for 2050s, the analysts consider from 90 to 120 billion of cubic meters. So this is, if we consider it 2050s, this is like the... We plan to use biomethane to a great extent because Europe adopted a very important political decision that in 2050s they should become CO2 neutral. And that means that the greenhouse gases have to come closer to zero or zero. And that means that everything that when burning goes at the greenhouse gases, the consumption of those should come to an end, including natural gas. So what, what will substitute natural gas? These are renewable gases, biomethane, green hydrogen, and synthetic renewable methane. So to some proportion, this market will be divided. And the first one is biomethane. And the huge, we see the huge attention to this gas in the world. And here we have the first plant in Ukraine almost ready-made legislation in this field for producing biomethane. We are waiting for the last decision uh, on the law that will allow us to export biomethane because as of now, for temporarily, it's not possible. However, we are expecting when uh, the export market will be open for us and then Ukraine will be able to take Russia's place, in some extent, in ensuring the renewable gases to European Union, just like Russia, and at the other time they were taking the biggest part of um, on the market in um, Europe gas market. So Ukraine will be able to take market share in renewable gases. Why? Because we have the biggest agricultural lands in Europe, and that means that we have the bigger number of the remnants, I mean agricultural remnants, and they can be turned into biomethane. And we have highly developed system of uh, gas systems, gas pipes, and almost in all parts of Ukraine, we can go to, we can join uh, the network of pipes, and we can put um, biomethane there. And Europe is a premium market that till 2050s, I mean, 
all the European experts are saying that we are going to be a deficit market. We will have lack of biomethane and any amount that you will offer, we will buy. Last winter, Ukraine experienced massive Russian attacks on Ukrainian energy infrastructure. Using electricity and heating as tools in tactics of terror of the civilian population. Russia will definitely try to repeat the strategy this winter, because this is the only tool of influence on the Ukrainians that the terrorist country has left. How is Ukraine prepared for the winter season in terms of energy security? Head of the NGO Expert Council on the Development of the Gas Industry and the Natural Gas Market, Leonid Unikovsky, will try to answer that. What's going on with gas? Some numbers on producing, on consumption. So we can rely only on some statements. Statement of Mr. Chernyshov, head of Nafta Gas Ukraine. In this heating season, we won't need gas import gas. Even though I'm not really sure about it, even though in our underground storages we have gas which is belonging to foreign traders and our private gas producers. In simpler words, then with foreign traders it's more difficult. They want and they probably will try to supply this gas to Europe next winter. If we are talking about energy system, then I would address energy in general. You know, the blackouts that we had, almost everyone felt that on themselves. However, we repaired almost everything if we take into account what the Ministry of Energy is saying and what Ukrainerho um, is saying. And quite a lot of operators of electric distribution network. The problem also is that still the big number of such equipment was renovated. However, when the renovation is going on in quick tempo, and on some temporary schemes, then to my opinion, the reliability of such systems is reducing. And this is the danger, in my opinion, that might be expecting us. So we will hope that the actions that are undertaken by our workers of the gas field and what is done by our energy system will help us to cope with this heating season. You've been watching a special project by Ukraine Media Center and Euro-Atlantic course dedicated to the Russian-Ukrainian war, Ukraine and Flames. In the description under this video, you can find information on how you can help Ukraine fight Russian aggression. If you find our work useful, please like and share this video. Slava Ukraini!